What is going on you beautiful human being? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're reacting to Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2 Episode 12 and 13. Should be really good. At this point, things have been extremely crazy. If you like Jujutsu Kaisen, hit the like button. Maybe even consider subscribing to my channel with the notification bell on so that you know when I upload. Anyways, without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. Let's go. Come to think about it, I don't even know if I remember what happened in the last episode. Getting irritated at my own failings. Oh, what's his name? Nana. I actually forgot. I'm having a slow day today. Oh, yes, we saw this guy get stabbed like that. Remember? By those, well, the one guy, but he was with that other chick. But his name's like Nana Mean, if I'm not mistaken. Dull knife. Oh, is that the knife? So, what I'm saying is, I'm having a, a slow day, so my brain is not keeping up. Oh, right. May, May, or just May, she's got that axe. Oh, she took his leg off. Crazy. Oh, came into full bloom as a grade one sorcerer. Applause. <laughs> Dude's busy clapping and he's about to get clapped. So that's how she values a life based off of how valuable it is to her. So if you're useless to her, in half <laughs> by their potential assets. Ooh. Oh, they finally took the veil off. Essentially, it's gonna release normal people, right? Oh, just the sorcerers, okay. Well, obviously, I didn't know which fail was which one. Oh, yes, they just beat this guy, right? He won't wake up soon. What did he sense? Oh, oh yes, the guy who transformed into Fushiguru, Toji. Remember, he just do, 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 he beat his face in like that, and now Megumi's gonna see his father. Crazy. Oh, is it ending? Okay, he's actually gonna fight them as looking like that. Wow. Oh my goodness. He's taken over because he's so strong. Or maybe that's the heavenly pact. Oh my goodness. Are you telling me because of his heavenly pact, it's actually revived him? But my body's special. Wow. A soul losing to a body. Whoa, did you see how fast he goes? Bro, Toji, is he fully back? Um, this is so crazy. Hey, booze. Inosan got destroyed. This fight is gonna be interesting. But he obviously remembers how his dad looked, right? So if he sees him, he'll be like, oh, dude. If I die, you'll kill me. <laughs> but that's the thing. Fushiguru isn't going to go after them. Maybe he is. Oh... This imposter still hanging around. Oh, this is him. That's the thing with the the cursed users who have come out of hiding because Ghetto got sealed. They're just maniacs. They just it's like let's just go and kill everyone. That's obviously a, a cursed tool. It can probably run on the hand. Mystic Mike. 
Even on a slow day. But I mean, it was pretty obvious that that was gonna happen. Oh, he's going after her. I mean, not he, the sword. Oh, right on the Achilles. Oh, a full on soccer punt. This guy is crafty. Oh, what she's going to grab Nita and run. This dude didn't even look like he got hit with any of that. Dude, when your brain hits the side of your head, it means you're knocked out. She just ate a huge right hook. Definitely concussion. I don't really understand my own technique all that well. Oh, is that why he gave the soccer kick? And maybe he's so full of himself that he doesn't even see the danger right in front of him. Oh. oh my gosh, torturing her. I mean, she's obviously concussed, like I said. When your brain hits the side of your head, the side of your skull, that it's actually normally a knockout. That's normally when people get knocked out. Whether it's like from a hook or a kick. Or any type. Oh. Isn't it? Yeah, I wanted to say. Namam. I forgot his name. I keep thinking about Nana Hoshi from Mushoku Tensei. That's why it's like Nana Mi, if I'm not mistaken. But you know for a fact he is Nanami. Was what was I saying? I might have even said that. I I'm telling you now, my brain is so slow today. And he's going to hurt this guy badly. And he's already moved them. Oh, she took her. <laughs> the number and locations of your ally. What's the number and locations of your allies before I pound your face in? Because that's what's going to happen. Look at the, the foot twitching. You know there's neural damage. <laughs> I would have died without my technique. He's already there. This is one guy I want to see his face get pounded in. He looks jacked. Oh. Remember when Vegeta punched Trunks in his stomach or it was Goten? Like you can actually knock someone out like that. Read the room. <laughs> this guy is going to get bludgeoned. Like, I don't know what this guy's technique is, but th that would be the only way for him to have survived that. Because it's not like his body is anything special. He's on a different level. <laughs> Grade one. Mental. Ghetto. What is his name? Suguru. <laughs> could kill every person in this country all on his own. Dude. Wow. Held you in higher regard than Gojo. I, dude, I almost want to watch an anime that's just Gojo. You know what I mean? But it would be just... He would be too OP. My former upperclassman. Smallpox deity. 
Oh, but isn't that from Mechamaru? They haven't lost their quality. Oh, domain expansion from a special grade. But she's not, I mean, she's, uh, she's grade one, dude. <laughs> Man, action, action, everything. Like goosebumps constantly as I'm watching. Constantly in awe, constantly in shock. Nita got stabbed like four times in her legs. Like, why would you leave her? It would hinder me and be in the way. Wow. Nanami. He looked. Oh my gosh. It's Chozo. And he said he wants to kill Yuji. Okay, we've moved straight into episode 13. It's called Red Scale. Itadori just, I mean, you were obviously watching, but you know, he's about to fight Chozo. Who's running here? Oh, is this him before he got to... Oh my gosh, it's complete pandemonium. Oh, Inamaki. Yeah, that's the thing. We haven't seen him. We haven't seen him. Die. <laughs> Don't move. Yeah, remember we saw everybody but him. And I was even thinking, because I took this photo the other day like that. And then I was like, oh, I look like Inumaki. Because I had like this the top like all the way up. And then I was like, wait, but we haven't even seen him this whole time. There's actually so many characters, but you can't actually have them all doing something. It would be an overload. Like, we haven't seen Panda fight, Toto fight, and they are around there, but it, it will literally be too much. Blood manipulation. Convergence. Wow. I love this narration. Applying pressure in... To pressure to blood, okay. What? Piercing blood. Bro! Some of these guys are so strong. Like, it, it almost doesn't make sense at, at to how strong they are. Double impact. Like, it, it's so crazy. Oh my word, it's like a... You got shot. But won't his body heal because of Sukuna? But it's like, you know, Chozo is just some, like, random cursed user. But look how strong he is. Oh, those guys. They were crying. Oh yes, because there were three brothers. Let's go. I don't know what Itadori can do against this guy. Because, I mean, he's used a few different techniques. Oh, so he can't, he can't do anything unless he actually has the blood. Like, if you interrupt that, then he's kind of, like, useless. But where does he get it from? Oh, it's almost like he also has to recycle it. Man. Like, you see how he keeps having to take it back. Almost like he only has that bit of blood. Crazy. So if you can just, like, attack him while he's separated from that ball, then you could probably beat the hell out of him. Are we gonna see Sukuna? Then I should at least... The animation is insane. 
supernova. It wasn't compressed enough. Oh, so it kind of left like a flesh wound and wasn't able to go right through. Finally, Mecha Maru's talking. I don't know its weakness. Uh, piercing blood and blood blade. No openings. <laughs> like, how do you beat this guy? Brace yourself for death. <laughs> like, this guy is so good. That second voice. Oh, he heard Mekamaru. Oh, he's gonna get him angry. That's his... That's gonna be his weakness. Is to, like, use his emotions. Oh, are you telling me that the water might rinse away his technique? I wonder if it's gonna mess with his technique. Doesn't look like it. It seems like it's still holding form around him. Oh, it is affecting it. Convergence dissolved. I'm not going to even try to pretend to understand what they just said. Wow. To use it outside of his own body. So if he keeps it inside, he might still be able to fight with it. You know, like actual just martial arts. He lacked combat experience. Oh, okay. So interesting. I don't understand the reasoning either, bruh. Yeah, because now it's close combat. And he's not used to fighting like that. Oh my goodness. But if you were Chozo, wouldn't you just leave? Unless he's so upset and arrogant. Come on, this is your wheelhouse. Oh my gosh. Oh. Headbutt. The roundhouse. He'd been keeping one. Blood meteorite. Sukuna. So if I die, I'm taking this guy out. Oh my gosh. Spontaneous thrombosis. What on earth? Because <laughs> he only took three hits and he was like close to death. Whoa, this is a crazy fight. It's like the next move is like win or die. Man, and he's putting it all on that one hand. A tooth. Oh, that was the one he was holding in his hand. Let's go, Yuji. Oh, he 
he still can't hold it. It still dissolves outside of him. Wow, what a fight. Oh, the right eye. Oh my gosh, bro, in full on Wolverine. Come on, Yuji. Oh, he still blocked it. Matada, not yet. I haven't used my left fist since the start. There's that hook. The faint come with the counter. Oh, the body shot. What? He had it protected. Oh. I mean, this this has to call for Sakuna. Apologize. How was? Oh my gosh! Here he is. Did he like lose too much blood or something in that fight? Memories flooded Chozo's mind. Memories that didn't exist. Pasta. Spaghetti. A cursed spirit. What? Oh, it's his other brother. Is this like the side effects of the blood manipulation? what on earth was that oh my gosh like and i said this the last time the show there's so much that happens in a single moment in time at a single point it, it just bum rushes you and i'm having a slow day today like i said i'm having a slow day today but incredible animation incredible everything nanami is absolutely insane the way he beat that guy up mei mei as well she's just you know that's the level of the first grade sorcerer right but you don't always get to see it like that you know that they're strong but when you actually see the difference in levels i mean the fact that fushiguru toji zenin the fact that he was i think it's got something to maybe do with his heavenly pact even though still to this point i don't know what that even really is i was hoping we would find out more about it maybe we'll find out in the coming up episodes but because remember what happens is that that the grandson it's his soul right and with those small pieces the the grandma if he eats it she can give him that body the piece of the body that he swallowed bizarre i know but fushiguru's body was so strong or whatever as i said i still predict it as heavenly pact it just took over and now he seems to be back and then he just killed it with the one shot i mean they're moving forward now right mojito is not there any mojita i mean is not there anymore ghetto put down that special grade to fight mei mei and he's like if you can exercise this then come fight me so we're slowly moving towards that but it's a dory looked finish and it looks like some Kuna's gonna have to step in and you even see him like like you know unbelievable losing to such riffraff so that's gonna be interesting to see him step up and what he's able to do because now you're gonna actually see the levels right you're gonna see the special grade like we see with nanami how he's just these guys are nothing to him at least these like low level curse users are nothing to him and i think it's gonna show you how strong sakuna really can be and that won't even be the max of his power other than that it was this was just jam-packed action there was no more revealing of everything i think they already did all of that there's the mission at hand fight 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 now we're gonna you know let's put boots to the ground alba grease let's get it done so just amazing appreciate this animation so much although i did see some news that the show got cancelled which would be i'll be very sad about that i didn't really want to read the article because uh, there might have been spoilers and i see from now i've got another four episodes 
episodes, but I don't know if it hasn't been released yet. But I saw something about the show got cancelled. I, like I said, I didn't want to look into it too much, but that would be a devastating blow. And yeah, what a fight between Chozo and his whole technique. I, I'm not going to even pretend to understand right now. Obviously, when I'm editing and stuff, I'll reread over what the narrator's busy saying and get a better idea. But anyways, that's going to be it for me. If you liked the episode, hit the like button. Consider subscribing. I'm releasing episodes of all different kinds of anime all throughout the week and hit the notification bell so that you keep up to date with it i'm gonna leave the last episode up over here but thanks for watching if you're watching that's gonna be it from me i'm out peace in a bit